We're going to find out what a barber knows about math that you would find on your SAT test. Let's go. I see you hiding, Spencer. You I see you hiding in there. <laughs> Good morning. This is Spencer Martin. How are you doing, Spencer? How are you doing? Uh, I see you're busy, so we'll take a seat and wait our turn. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, hit me. I'm not going on that. If three more than <laughs> twice a number is equal to ten, what is four times the number? <laughs> you want a calculator? I brought one just in case. No, because three more than twice a number. What number? Three? Uh, an unknown number. You have to, you have to figure that part out. If three more than twice the number <laughs> is ten. <laughs> Uh, you got me on that one. I was going to say two, but it's not the answer there. If you got no idea, you leave it blank and you go on. So that's an option too. I'm going to leave it blank and go on. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe if you were sitting in one of your chairs, you'd feel, Maybe you're sitting in one of your chairs, you'd feel more relaxed. Yeah, have a seat in one of your chairs. Here. We put we put a little hot cream on your neck and you know soothe you a little bit. Here. <laughs> there you go. I got a pencil. Uh, there you go. Uh, Can you give me our calculator? This one's a little complicated. Waste the number. Okay. I'm deleting it. He's on pre he's pressured. He's just oh, anxiety. Can you figure that out? <laughs> I guess it's just one. <laughs> when in doubt, pick C. No. You got kids at home. True, never do that. Never, ever do that. You don't care what the answers were previously. Every, every problem is separate and individual. I would have to say C. Okay, so the question then goes to what is four times that whatever that number is. Okay. Oh, but okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so at home, I'm guessing maybe you beat Spence on this one. Yeah, yeah, you uh, But the answer for you at home, the answer is D, and let's figure out why that is. Fourteen. Three more than twice a number. Okay, let's figure out if we can create an equation three more than twice a number. What would that come out like? That would be twice the number means two times, right? Right. So. And when you don't know what that number is, what do you insert for it? N, X, any letter, right? So you're going to put two times X. Go ahead and write that down. Two times X. Two times X equals. Not equals because it's three more. And so what do we have to do? Add three. So 2X plus three. 2X plus three is equal to, is equal to 10. So that means two times X is actually seven, right? Yeah. And so what is X? Two times what gives you seven? Three and a half. Three and a half. Now, what is four times three and a half is the question. Fourteen. Fourteen. There's your answer, D. So. <laughs> I got that one wrong. Appreciate you being a sport. Uh, and good effort. You get okay. A for effort. He's got a straight A From attitude, straight doesn't he? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So we have, we have one more problem to do. Let's uh, set him up for the next problem. You guys at home, get ready. <laughs> Go ahead and read it. Charlie has built houses for five years less than twice as long as Freddie. If Freddie has built houses for not for N, N years, which of the following expressions represents the number of years that Charlie has built houses? A, N minus five, B, N plus five, C, 2N minus 5, D, 2N plus 5, E, 5 minus 2N. Okay, so based on what we talked about before, you know, looking at the language to turn that into math symbols, uh, can you figure out what to do with this problem? Well, I'd have to say that Charlie has built houses for five years. But they're less. twice, right, five years less than twice the amount of frame. Right. So I would have to say C, 2N minus 5. 
that 2n is twice as long as Freddie, and the minus 5 shows the 5 less. So there we go. Congratulations. Yay! Good job. <laughs> okay, well that concludes another edition of Straight A Walking. Uh, you kids at home, uh, how'd you do? Did you beat Spence? Or was he able to beat you on the Probably. second one? I don't know. <laughs> This is but what it happens if you don't become a straight A. You end up being a barber like <laughs> Steve and I. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, listen, you guys. Spence is a great guy and a great sport. Give it up for Spence. Woo! All right. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank a lot, you. Spence. All right. We'll see you next time. All right.